Oh yeah. Let's turn this light off. I don't think we need it now. There. Oh no, we don't need to brown myself. No. Right, yeah. Here we are. Following morning. Joe's not had anything. I've not had anything. I don't. I think I had one bleep during the night. And the night was heavy with fish all over the bloody lake. Heavy. I've never heard so many bloody fish crashing out on this lake. It was alive with them. I think they're just overjoyed that they could swim around without bumping into a line, to be honest. They were not interested in taking a bait, that's for sure. I've just put my baits out and each spot has had, well, the middle spot, a fish just rose, literally, and we put the bait, well, put the bait straight out on it, in the boat. And the other one's on the island, I've just had a couple of little usual bream bleeps on that. So things are looking good. I'm still confident, to be honest with you. The other one's on the reeds down there. And my right hand rod is rocking in the red stand. Lovely. Mm. Yes. I'm going to show you that actually. I think it's just going to go off and. Just watch your right hand rod. Right, keep your eye on the right hand rod. Hopefully, it'll blister off in a minute. That would be nice. Wouldn't that be nice now to see that rod bend over? <sighs> Go on, mate. Well, that uh, brings us to the end of the show, except for this week's motto. He who hesitates is a man. It looks nice in photo work, there you are. There you go. Did you see that? I thought we were going to be in then. Oh, oh. Just imagine shopping for Christmas gifts and only gifts for the king. Big Broad Stone Squeal was an episode of Round the Horn from 1968, and next week, Kenneth Horn strolls off to the Bona Academy for ballroom dancing. The shadowy figure arrives in town in a black top hat and a floor-length gown. What's he doing here? Did you call him? He called me. I, I didn't know what to say. Don't let him in. Don't! A creepy raconteur. He shares stories with others. How do you know that? He told me. He tells me everything. But where does he Lovely. hail? Middle rod is now shaking in the rest. If you don't try to leave. I dropped the middle rod, which is there, right on top of a fish that had just crashed out or head and tailed out very quietly twice. Head and tailed twice. 
just happened to have the boat basically baited up and ready to go. Took it out there and dropped it within a couple of feet of where he had just decided to head and tail it off. I can't see whether there's bubbles coming up over there or not, but certainly um, I couldn't, couldn't do no better than that. Not going to do it, man. I'll come back later. Oh yeah. Well, just gonna get myself sorted out, get everything sorted out and uh, tackled down and boxed up, packed away. And that's another session over. I've re it's really been quite enjoyable this session actually it's the weather's been perfect um, I've, I've had I've had use of the bike boat and far from it being uh, well, being a bit stupid using it it's it's been absolute bloody brilliant brilliant addition because of the fact that, that up here it's, I think stealth and quietness has is, got a lot to do with the fishing and you can you can do that with a bait boat. Uh, a lot of places you can chuck it out and the, the actual noise of the bait going in actually attracts the fish whereas up here I, I don't really think that's uh, the approach that you need. You you need really to just be peaceful and tone things down a bit. But I'm gonna have to get this bait and sort it out. Because I think it needs some bait put in it. Make these fish buddy feel a bit hungrier than what they are feeling at the minute. So here goes. I'll see you next time on Catch Carp Diaries. Oh, well, here we are. Happy as can be. All fun and uh, games today so far. Oh, I just had a nice calm cup of coffee because I decided that i do something else rather than drink it and it's a bit cold now so I'm at the um, secret lake again call it a secret lake well it's my secret um, lovely I, I ended up um, stuck or nearly stuck in the car wheels spinning everywhere uh, spent about 20 minutes trying to get up a very steep hill on the grass. Should never have gone down there on the grass. It was, it was rather 
rather silly. But there. Uh, now I know. Don't go down with a full load of tackle. In fact, don't go down at all in wet weather when it's been raining. It's no good. Right, I've got myself a new tripod. Things are looking really, really steady. It's all looking good. Absolutely bloody amazing. Um, paid, it's a Vivitar. I paid £13 for it at Asda. £13! Absolutely super. I think I'll get another one from the camera now actually. And chuck that other shit away that I bought. Disgusted to say really, I bought it on eBay because I like to think my stuff that I sell on eBay is it's half decent, but this, oh excuse me, this some um, crap bloody tripod I bought from eBay, if you're watching Mr. eBay man, your tripod's fucking crap mate, excuse my friend. Anyway, here we are, uh, let's just see, I don't know if I can just... Yeah, there's the rods, only two eight at the moment as you can see because I'm just about to uh, put the other one out. Um, it's all looking good, if I get a run now I've got line everywhere, rods everywhere, um, a camera in the way, I should never get to it, but there. Uh, anyway, there's that. Oh, there I am again, lovely. Yeah, uh, I was in fact going to leave this late uh, after the cool, sticky start. And <laughs> but I decided in in my wisdom that I would stay here. I wouldn't go to Oakside as Oakside is probably going to throw me up another blank. And quite honestly, the weather is shit. So how long I'm staying, I don't know. I'll definitely do one night. I'm going to have to put some more clothes on. I started off by getting damn cold, didn't I? And my, my back is damn freezing. God, I wish I was 30 years younger again. <laughs> oh, well. Never mind. My mate, my mate Bert, me and him used to go fishing a bit. And... Um, We've had a few sessions together. He, I don't don't think he'll ever see this video or YouTube, but I'm, I actually I might put it on DVD and send it down for him because we we've done a few sessions on the same lake, me and Bert together, and um, dear old souls, about seventy odd now. He's still fishing and. His, his chance of a 50 has just gone out the window because the lake that he was just going to go and fish, the Nutsy in Southampton, it's, um, the poor bloody fish has just died. And I think it was, it was coming out at over 50. But I'd maybe after this year, maybe it had a bit of spawn left in it or something. But um, because a lot of the fish, I think, have struggled spawning this year. We've had a lot of, a lot of problems, I think, up and down the country. But... But there, anyway, there's Bert. Um, he's a nice, nice chap, good chap. I used to enjoy fishing with Bert. Always made me laugh. He makes me laugh now when I, when I chat to him on the phone. Still have a little chat to him. But anyway, I'm going to stop rain. I'm just going to get this other rod out, so I'll speak to you again.